Good morning everyone and welcome to Adam's Workshop. I say good morning but I know most of you are spread out all over the globe which is awesome. I think that's just really neat. Um, first off I want to thank all my new subscribers. Um, I don't get to thank each of you individually because it, it, a lot of times it doesn't show me your name. It just shows I have a new subscriber I guess if you're not set to public or something like that. I'm not quite sure how that works. Anyway, I want to thank all um, new subscribers. Thank everybody that's tuning into this video right here, right now. And um, I want to apologize. Last night, oh, excuse me, um, last night I put out part one of this video and I was trying to put out part two before I went to sleep. I even told myself if I had to stay up all night, I would do it. Um, I made a recording, and while I was editing it on my phone, I kept falling asleep, waking up, and I just, I destroyed that video. So here I am making it again. I live in the United States in Texas, southern Texas, so right now it's 8 o'clock in the morning here. And um, I think, as y'all know, I posted my last video at... I don't know, just a few hours ago, I posted, I'm, I'm looking on my laptop here just to be sure, three hours ago, so eight, seven, six, five o'clock, I posted my last video, um, but my body just couldn't take it, I'm not the young, young guy I used to be, for all of you in your 20s, I envy you, enjoy it while you can, because it will soon pass you by, alright, to the video, um, Next thing we're gonna address is the time settings. Okay, as we can see here, our ATO time settings, or I'm sorry, I got them switched. I switched sides on y'all. So the left side is the ATO, right side is the STO. Um, for all you ATO owners, you know that you can either press to the right to zoom in or to the left to zoom out and then if you want to go faster you also have the wheel option S scroll to the right zooms in scroll to the left and it zooms out it's pretty neat however with the STO and I have to say this is I think the preferred way I, I think this is really neat um, Similar to the ATO, I'm trying to set this brightness so y'all can see it. I have to make it darker so you can actually see the numbers and whatnot a little better. So, here you go. Same thing. The right zooms you in. The left one here zooms you out. But instead of the wheel when you press the middle one, you get every setting. I, I just think that's awesome. Each and every setting. Look at this. You can go from two nanoseconds right now I'm on two nanoseconds and the click of a button two nanoseconds and the click of a button or two buttons we can go all the way up to one kilosecond of course it's not going to show on the screen because I have it the roll enabled um, we can go to one second per division and look at that I, I just think that's awesome so I'm going to have to say the STO wins on the time setting, time base setting. Okay, so there's our time settings. I'll mark that off. I have a little list here. I want to make sure I go over these things with y'all. Channel menu. Here we go. ATO channel menu. Yeah, see, it doesn't show, you can't see the number unless I take the brightness down some. For some reason. There you go, now you can start to see. Okay, so channel menu on the ATO. All, you, all of us ATO 
owners are familiar with this. On the top, we have Sorry guys. On the top we have our invert option. You can invert and go back to normal. Of course the sine wave so not much is going to happen when we invert. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. This is not what this video is about. I'm showing you differences on these scopes. Alright, under probe select on the ATO you have choice of your BNC banana, secondary, and P130A. That is awesome. I'm going to say the ATO wins out there because on the STO, this is not the case. I'm going to open up the menu. We do have the invert option. We do have the invert option. It's rolling behind here. There it goes. Um, but we do not have the BNC, the secondary, or the P130, because those are automotive features, so the ATO is going to win out on that one. On on both of them, we do have... Come on now. You know, I think instead of getting this scope, this new scope like I did, I probably should have got that GoPro camera first. Um... So anyway, we do have, we have our voltage, we have our current over here, same thing, we have our voltage, we have our current, but with our current, it gives us the other options for different um, probes, for different current probes, current clamps, amp clamps, and then you also have pressure. And if you're using like a pressure transducer, maybe a first look sensor, I'm not sure. I don't have one of those and I do not have a pressure sensor yet. Um, anybody that does and has used this, feel free to put in the comments how, exactly how this works. Um, so those options we do not have on the STO. So the ATO is definitely going to win out there. Um, next on the list, attenuation. ATO, we have one one attenuation 10 20 50 100 200 500 1000 2000 5000 10000 on the STO and that's just there whether you're under um yeah see I'm a little shaky I have to eat um breakfast I haven't eaten yet I guess my blood sugar is a little low anyway um so you don't have to press anything on the ATO to see your attenuation. It's just there. However, on the STO, you do have to press right here. Right now it says 1x. Press that. And then we have the same things here. 1, 2, 5. I'm not going to read them all off. Um, actually, it is a little different because over here we have 1, 10, 20. Here we have 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, 200, 500, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000. Those are all the same as here. But we also pick up what I believe to be millivolts. As you can see, that'd be one, oh, what'd I do? Yeah, that'd be one millivolt. Attenuation, 2 millivolts, 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, 200, and 500 millivolts. And then once you click it, it'll show you right there which one you have. So whether I'm on voltage, 500 millivolts, attenuation, 500 to 1. So that's pretty neat. Um, I'd say the STO wins out on this one. Next is our coupling. Am I saying that right? Coupling. Um, down here it says signal on the ATO, it says couple on the STO. So anyway, we have AC and DC. Working on a car, most of the time you'll be using a, um, DC. Um, AC, maybe if you're checking um, alternator ripple, you might want to use AC. Because then it only um, the only signal that's allowed to pass through is AC. It blocks the DC, attenuates it. Um, 
over here we have same thing we have DC AC but we also have ground so when I press ground let me change my time base here to say 20 milliseconds so there's our ground open our menu back up shows you where our ground is on the scope I'm trying to work with the light and best I can guys um, I hope the video is not too bad as far as camera and lighting goes I'm trying working the best with what I have here all right so we have DC AC and ground um, next is our bandwidth and on the ATO we have two options we have 100 megahertz I'm assuming that is megahertz 100 megahertz so I believe anything under a 100 megahertz is allowed to pass through I'll have to check to make sure on the user guide here um, maybe I'll put that in a, in a text right here when I'm editing and then low pass or maybe it's anything I have to check to find out for sure I don't want to say low pass if it's like the STO right now it's set at um, 30 kilohertz so anything under 30 kilohertz will be allowed through everything over 30 kilohertz will be blocked of course you can raise this up to whatever number you so desire and if you want you can hit megahertz or you can have kilohertz up to you I'm just gonna leave it how it was. I don't know why I'm ending my sentences with like a question mark. <laughs> um, so there's that, pull back up our channel. So we have 100 megahertz and low pass. STO is pretty neat. We get a few more features here. We get, we have full bandwidth. This is gonna allow Every, all signals through. Hold on, I gotta reset my little stand here. Okay, so where was I? Okay, bandwidth. Full is gonna allow all signals through. Nothing's gonna be attenuated. If you go to high pass, only signals above your option here in this case 30 kilohertz only signals above 30 kilohertz will be allowed through same thing you can adjust it here you can do one at a time positive negative and you can do megahertz or kilohertz okay same here low pass only signals below 30 kilohertz in this scenario will come through same thing you can adjust that if we put it there only signals below 8.08 .08 megahertz will be allowed through everything else will be attenuated so that's pretty neat and then you have 20 megahertz so everything up to I believe under 20 megahertz yes will be allowed through okay and now you also have here this center and zero um, I'm actually gonna have to look here on my let me pause you and look on the user guide and read exactly what this is 